Hello, this is step three in set, setting up the leg. We're gonna use a foot controller to control the foot's rotation and translation. So I'm gonna create myself another NURBS circle here. Create NURBS primitive circle. Draw it out on the ground. I'm gonna move it over to where the foot is. So I'm gonna zero out its translation and I'm gonna scale it up a little bit in Z just to kind of make it fit the foot more. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna freeze its transformations, modify freeze transformations. There we go. I'm gonna call it foot control. To get the IK handle to follow it, I can just parent it, click the ankle, click the foot control with control and hit the P button to parent it. Now when I move the foot control the foot moves but the foot doesn't really rotate nicely so I'm gonna zero back out the foot control and we're gonna use a rotation constraint so I'll pick the foot control I'm gonna pick the ankle with the control button go to constrain and then orient go to the options make sure maintain offset is on and hit apply close that window now when you rotate the foot rotates but it doesn't quite rotate right that's because the pivot point is off go ahead and hit the insert button and we're gonna move that pivot point to the ankle hold the V button and it'll snap right on there there we go hit the insert button again now you see the pivot point is right on the ankle so now we can move the ankle, we can move the foot, we can move the knee, and we should, could al should also be able to move the thigh up and down. To make this a little tidier, we can make a locator and parent all of our controls to it. I'm gonna zero it all back out. I'm gonna go to create locator, call it leg, parent the thigh bone, the knee control, and the foot control to it. You can use the middle mouse button and drag it down to the leg. Now we can move our entire rig back and forth in the scene. That's a simple way of how to set up a leg with IK.